बेनिफिट इज दैट If you connect that GraphQL database right from okay. our React application, okay. So you have some explorer kind of things over there. So we have to in that explorer we can get the data from uh, this demo whatever I have prepared. That is for your GitHub profile is required. Okay. Okay. So let me share my screen. No, no, no. First of all, uh, Koushik, one doubt I have. Yes. Like we are dealing with the front end React, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Why you, even... you no need to set up another DB over there because GraphQL. If you set up GraphQL, na? No, no, no. Just... One yes. doubt, one doubt. Because I don't yes. know that much. Uh, say I am asking yes. some doubts. Please clarify. Yes, yes, like yes. actually from front end. We are mm -hmm. not at all accessing accessing that uh, database. Yes. What? Correct. Yes. yes. We are connecting to backend and uh, Node.js or Python or etc. Then we are accessing MongoDB or SQL. SQL. Correct. Yes. So, if you find so, if you want to add the MongoDB, right? Yes. Then you need some connection string. You need some data uh, based connection string in that. React JS or Angular JS application, right? Directly, What? directly you no need to connect the MongoDB. It requires other layer, right? Like Node JS. Ah, yes, yes, correct. Yes. From the Node JS, we can structure our data. It's it's a middle layer, right? In that middle layer, we can connect our database, right? And this data we are getting from that Node to React via API, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, right. So yes. from a front end, from the database, the connection point is that Mongo, your Node JS, right? From the Node, you will your API will be there. That API you are going to connect from your Mongo, your React JS, right? Okay. So here, if you set up the GraphQL, right? So directly. The screen is not. Okay, I'm sharing. So. My screen is visible. Ah uh, yes, yes. So you can see this is the URL, okay? Okay. Dogs dot GitHub GraphQL Explorer, right? Okay. So this is the GraphQL editor that you need to add. I Means it's there. Dogs dot GitHub dot com, okay? Okay. And this is the GitHub URL. One GitHub URL is required. Any other Database or any other uh, means I am just using GitHub with the GraphQL because it's coming with the GitHub and GraphQL API. Okay. Okay. This thing. So GraphQL structure is same in everywhere. So you can connect other database or other repository also. Okay. okay. From the GitHub, I am just adding GitHub. You have go go through this link dogs dot GitHub dot com and GraphQL Explorer. This is the thing. So you can see this is my one. GitHub document, right? Database repository. Here I have one repository. I have edit profile option. Everything is there, right? Yes. So name, bio. So if I want to just uh, see the login, hmm. this is the structure of viewer. This is the structure, okay, in the viewer. So we have some explorer means code also be there. You can see, right? Different yes. type of query you can get. So in that viewer query, if I will add login, okay, and this is a hit button, okay, execute the query. If I will execute, so login name will be showing, right? Login demo uh -huh. user node. This is my login URL, okay. Okay. So I have name, okay, like. React developer. Just I'm writing, okay? Okay. 
so name also you can fit like login and then and here if you type the page but then you can get the this is the name okay two things login and name is a query okay in the viewer section query query dot viewer right for the user so name if i add name my name is showing null because i don't have provided any name over here right okay now now react developer this name okay okay i've added and save your profile okay everything related to github i will connect it from that query graph ql okay okay now you can see the name now i have add the name you can see the react developer that name is there right yes then if you have edit profile and that bio right yes. this is my react repository that i am writing in a text Okay, I'm adding. So save it. So if you go in there and buy you, okay. Then I will add. You can see the bio also coming. Nah? This is my React repository. Okay. Okay. So bio instead of bio, you can get that bio HTML. It's in the HTML form also they are providing. Okay, in the deep tag, it is there. Okay. Okay. So in this way, we can query in the graph query. Okay. Okay. And also that you have some history. So whatever command I have used earlier, right? That is showing in the history. Okay. okay. This thing in the history tab. If you close the explorer, then history tab. Okay. Okay. And also, if you pretty file, so it will beauty with a beautiful format, it will show okay. Uh, uh, I'm very sorry to interrupt, Kaushik. Yes, one, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me, Kaushik. Uh, actually, I have uh, one uh, like uh, I no. have got production issue, so I need to leave, <laughs> leave the meeting. I'm very sorry. Uh, Vaipo is calling, okay, okay. Take it though, you can leave, not an issue. Hello. Hi, Amit. Yeah, hi, Kushik. Okay, so we already have started the discussion. Okay. <laughs> so that today's topic is that GraphQL. Okay. Okay. So GraphQL is a data query language. You can see, yeah. and that whatever I have added, that is the GraphQL Explorer, right? This explorer is added with the GitHub GitHub profile. This is my GitHub profile, okay? Yes. This is a GitHub profile, and that repository I have added. So, if you have GitHub URL, every everyone has today the GitHub URL, right? Hello. Yes, sir. And the GraphQL editor is there in the GitHub URL, okay? So. Just I'm telling that this is a query editor, GraphQL editor. Okay, like I'm hit that execute, then you can get the login information from that GitHub related login information. Okay, this then whatever the I have used demo user now, so this is my login information over there. Okay, okay. So today's demo, whatever I have done, that is I will connect the React and GraphQL. React to GraphQL. You no need to set up in a middleware instead of that. Okay. So GraphQL, you have to set up through React directly. There is no middleware. There is no Node.js connection. We have not added. Okay. So you can see that in the viewer section, this is the structure. The viewer section. Okay. In that viewer section, I have to run that. Whatever that uh, like. This is my key login, right? So you can see login. Okay. Okay. In that login, I will add it. Then login data I am there is showing okay into yeah. the data. This is the output and this yeah. is the query. Hmm? Uh, uh, login is basically it's a key, right? No, they, they have... is, 
login uh, is there inside the means, uh, the graphql you can add other data other uh, means i have used github you know bid bucket or any other repository you can add right from that graphql this is coming with github graphql okay so login by default is coming you can say multiple parameters are coming right okay. like bio hmm. in the bio section that i have added something and that two data if i will print name yeah, and we have bio. To, in short we are saying that we have the multiple properties yes like multiple bio, properties. We, have, we have bio yes. yeah. like i have add the hit the bio so currently mm -hmm. bio is not showing okay. name there is name also not showing okay nothing is showing but if i will add my name and bio right name is like react developer and this is some demo i have added okay yeah and, and, and i got yeah i got your point and this this the value i want to get on that you are hello bio and name these okay. two things so anything you can get right you require the bio uh, the text in a html format right so okay. the bio html you can add so bio html you can put okay yes. in that location and that location you can get location i have not added so nothing will come so okay. everything is there inside that your github profile okay so repository is name everything is there okay mm -hmm. Yeah, I have one, uh, one more query. Uh, yes, 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 certainly. Uh, GraphQL basically it is used for means uh, uh, fetch the data from the GitHub only. No. No, no, it's a uh, no, 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 no. I can link it only, right? Link yes, 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 yes. Link in query, but not okay. only GitHub. Yeah, Any, okay. I got it from that mm -hmm. GitHub has given that Explorer thing, right? So everything okay. data I related to the GitHub currently. Okay. But this okay. is not necessary that you have added the GraphQL only the GitHub. Okay. Your what your data repository is required, right? This is a mm. query. Okay. Where yeah. is the database? Database it's... is currently in the GitHub in yes. my database. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you can add different database with that query. But the query is same. Mm -hmm. The structure is same. Query okay. is same. But the data will be different from mm -hmm. different DB to DB. Okay. Yes, so yes. you can add other database also so this database you can add different way okay mm -hmm. this is the same okay and also if i uh like this is the next uh, normal structure okay yes. and if mm -hmm. i want to get the user right and yes. that user like not here if i want to get user user and my login information I will put this way also. This login information I will put. This is my demo. The login name, right? Demo user not right? Right. This, this value I can put here. And then if you will uh, add this value, like your company HTML, okay? Only name or bio, okay. These two things, so you can also get the data. You can see the structure is different now. This is the user information. If my login is demo, none. If you will add this thing, so error is showing right. It's showing that could not resolve to user within the login because this user not present currently in my. GraphQL to GitHub link, okay. Yes. Only I have this information. This value, okay. This uh, this information we have. So multiple ways we can get the data. So also that if you have uh, how many repositories you have, right? That you can also find out from that repository. Means if you have uh, comma. If multiple things you can get, like if you have license, you can see license, okay? This is my license and key. If you will add key, that is MIT. A different type of license is there, na? 
so you can provide the name you can add the description you can add the body you can get the url okay now i can hit so the data is there data is ready with second of time the data is produced right with some adding additional query with this so multiple things we can add with the comma separator right yeah. also we have um, like uh, yes like how uh, what is my deposit uh, means how many repositories are there so you can get it from comma and you can say repository right repository in the viewer section repository A repository is missing one minute repositories and first two repository i want to show or two repositories but three repositories right and then here total count or total count it's coming under one minute uh, it's uh, coming under viewer i just missed one thing that's why not coming so viewer right now if we will if you will add this thing, like now you can see repository is coming, right? In the repository system, in the first three repositories, and you can get the total count, right? Now I can hit. Total, I have only one repository, so that's why count is one, right? Repository is count. And also showing the name that if I have some node, right? In the node, if I will add name and description, it's very easy. And also ID. Now I'll hit this thing. So you can see. So repository is name are coming right node description everything yeah. in the repository so multiple uh, uh, that section you can add like user and also you can do the pretty file control it and then pretty file that means something uh, means beautify and then you can represent your query okay now you can hit the query is ready currently right and you will get the history so whatever the means earlier i have used the query that is also stored in the history section okay and also explorer you can get so multiple things you can whatever i have used now you can see that it will already checked right body description everything is checked over there na? the nodes so you can take anyone like email uh, if i will add email so automatically it comes under the user email na? So, it. so email is not added that's why okay but parameters are there okay this is the thing now how i can add this thing in the react application this data is query is ready right this type of query you can currently add so if you go react application right first we have to require some token for linkage purpose for the react to github one link is required so authentication token is required for that if you go there and setting okay in that setting you will go developer setting okay in the developer setting you can go the personal access token in the personal access token you can go the tokens okay so that token i have already created you can also create generate generate new token okay this token hello uh, yes 
is it? So that token, you can, whatever the token is there, token value you have to add in your React application. This token okay. value. So currently we have this this thing already I have added. So this is the parameters you have to check whenever you create the tokens. Admin key and the user notification, everything you have to add. Okay. So this is required for connecting. Now I will create one uh, db.js file in the React. So from the React, I have to uh, connect it, right? Otherwise, there is no meaning. Means from the React application, we have to create. So I'll create one const and GitHub is equal to this thing. base URL. Okay. The base URL section, this is the API. HTTP is API dot GITHUV GitHub dot com graph GraphQL okay comma username username is required what is the username in my case that is your you go there my repository and this is my user right that can be anything from your case. And I have to pass headers. The header I require content type application slash JSON and Authorization. H O R I. Authorization. E E A R E R B R R. And you have to add the token, right? This token value. In my case, I have added this is my token value. This token you have to add, okay? Then you have to export default and github. Any doubt here? Uh, no, uh, no. So this is your database structure okay, that you have to create. The base URL header and this is the GraphQL API. Then go to the app.js. Now I am first retrieve one data. This name or query I will add to input react from react and that is my function app return header input default you have to input on hooks that is also used it but I will do it later input github from from where I'll connect it db right on db db dot js dot js will go go there so db dot js now here use effect 
will call a const with a query. We will do it is a query here by Have to add this thing, okay? In that query. Now I'll go first. I'll copy it and just keep the place. We uh, have this section. Copy it. Don't have to add this section here. And I also I will add this section later. Okay, first. I will only record one name. So name is swing, right? So copy this thing there and add. So this name I will add over here, okay? Viewer name with this string in the blazon. Now I have to do fetch the fetch method uh, GitHub dot base URL right? Like. Comma your method name is post. Well, I'm posting something, right? That's you have GitHub no. listen dot string five, and you have to add your body over there. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, are you there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I understood. Okay. So dot bin function response response dot json and then dot bin function in data here function dot log my data right and dot bin dot catch function that is error this error I will get it function dot log if I hit this thing we can get the data in my console you can see we'll go there and you can see the data right this name yes yes so this query we have to add in this way okay from the query editor and also in the use effect hooks 
now how can we print the data yes. If I want to print, then what I will do? You have to take other hooks like use state. The use state hooks calls username, comma, set username. Use data. Okay. Now in the console, wherever my data is coming, I just add set username and pass my data. Over here. Okay. This username will go here in the header section. The age one tab will print. His name is Swing. Okay, the data key is missing for a minute. Set username data or data data dot data data dot data dot viewer dot name data dot data dot viewer dot name that you have to add okay now you can go and see that this value is coming right yes, yes. if you want to go and change it from there like react developer one you can add save it hit that browser so you can see the data is updated right yes. on that console and also in the view let's i have one uh, like bio if i have some if i will add bio here we can add so this takes also be shown right what i will do same thing on Go on bio set user bio. Okay. And so bio should be there. Name comma bio. Okay. Set user bio. And then Set it set user bio data dot data dot viewer dot bio right and user bio you can take it in the h2 tag will add user bio this value also coming right this way we can print now the calls github query if you will add so the page is showing longer right what i will do i will cut it i not adding in that page i'll create one query.js file and i'll add this thing okay now export default github query here I will add go to your app.tsx you have to import query from your query now if I will add query 
Yeah. I'll create one separate page, right? For that. Still have access, right? <laughs> You can go. This one is coming, right? Yes. So this is that you have to add with that React project with that call and value. Uh, this page, this this is required. Your token, this token value. Otherwise, it will not showing. Okay, in that page. Okay. And if I want some query component, right? Uh, that is my this query where my nodes are coming, right? So how can I do that? If no, just we have to go here query.js file. Uh, we can one thing that I have missed out that is use callback hooks. You can also do that, like use callback. Sir, so, I I have one query. Uh, yes. number three, right? On line number three, import query from query, right? But you have not put it on query.js, but the file name is query.js, right? So it is true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So query is your no, 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 no not at. No, not that one, but uh, uh, this one, query.js. Uh, query.js. Yes, they have not added. No, no, in, uh, in app. Uh, in uh, go to back, yeah. In basically, we have query.js, no? file name. Uh -huh. So, file name is query.js. But uh, we have not specified here, no? query.js. Uh -huh. So, your file name is query. Here, I add the query, no? It's yeah, query. We have. Yeah, we have added this query, right? But the, the file name is query.js. Okay. Yes. But in app.js yes. file, we have yes. dot slash, no, not here, uh, dot slash uh, query.js. Now look at the line number uh, two, we have that db.js. But uh, here we have not written any query.js. db.js tell me, oh, GitHub, right? Mm. Okay, you want this thing? Okay, okay, understood. This one, right? No, no, no. no. From after, after from after from, we have written query, right? Now. Dot forward no, file dot. name is there. From which JS file you want to call? Yeah, file name is query dot JS, huh? So yes, uh, yes, we have to write a full name. No, full query dot. Okay, dot JS. Yeah, you can also yeah, write. Yeah. I think we can also write, no? Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Either you can do DB and query. Both are working. Okay, no, both are working. Yeah, okay. Either you can put dot js, either not dot js. Okay. Both are working. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now this use effect hooks I will replace with the use callback hooks over here. Okay. So okay. com fetch data equal to use callback in the use callback this value i will add okay. and the fetch method you just copy this is my fetch method right cut it okay so it requires two argument. First is your body part and is the dependent array, okay? In that field. So I use that in callback. Now create data I have to use inside that here, fetch data. data and if, if we will add this thing 
their dependency is the phase data that means when phase data hook will call um, from that user to only that time user to will be called okay so not the value i will add now i have to update the query with the node whatever the repository i am right from that node i have to add this thing. how many repositories are there that i want to show right so what what is the query for that i already added right in my repository this is right this is the nodes and this is the repository right this is the first whenever you do the query first add here One minute. Repository. I will add here. This value. I will add. I think it's the. Yes, just pretty much. Add it. Yes, it's calling. So I just print the name. total count currently not required because it fast three means what you can tell fast three means only the top three records will be showing okay in the field and if we'll add this thing like this value i'll copy only first three value will be shown because currently we have only one repository in my app. if i'll create one repository like demo creation one one okay and create it So I have two repository. Now I'll go and hit this. You can see two values are created, right? One name and inside the other name. And also the total count, we can get two. Okay. This is a value already created. So copy this query. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. For uh, we have first three record. Okay. Uh, if you want the uh, last three record, is it possible in graph uh, two? What? I, what? Uh, I want you? last three record. Is it possible? So uh, I have to create more. So last. You can... Yeah. Yeah. We have. Uh, we have such features. So two because I have only two repositories, right? Yeah. But I want the last one record. So is it last possible? one. You can yeah. see last one. Demo creation. Demo creation means last one. Okay. Okay. So we have any uh, we have any uh, or even like functionality or even. Or even means? Uh, means uh, uh, zero, uh, zero two four six like that. Uh, so three, if you three, add four. if you add this thing, so mm -hmm. like two records. So two records will be showing. Okay. You want you want to want the range, right? That I have to explore. That range obviously will work. So mm -hmm. if it's there or not, that range kind of thing. That is coming fast after before this thing. Okay. Okay. So that is there. So fast one record. So fast only fast record will be showing from there. Yeah, in jQuery we have in jQuery we have like a uh, I need some uh, even even record. Means uh, we have zero, two, four, six, eight. All this. Uh, yeah, all so this... fast to create all the many repositories. Then on the, you will add. Okay. And obviously, query should be there. Then you can add. Okay. Uh, this past three records or two records that you can pass here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I need to take this because so many things are there. Okay. So okay. you have to pass these things and you can get the data from the graph. Okay. And okay. So you can see the total count is two. 
but nodes are showing one right in my node mm -hmm. you know, the name description if i run two then first two records will be showing if i will not pass anything so what will showing so i think something you have to pass over here right in the record set so you have to copy and where i will paste query right yes. here this value will be replaced to this thing if i will format and go there just i think it's because i have not added so but you can see the data is name and repositories both are coming na? name and repositories in this data right Node node zero. That means you have to make some for loop inside mm -hmm. there, and then if I add two, then we can also check like here it from the data we are showing that viewers and repository two repositories are showing. Now you can see zero. Oh, one minute. Something is wrong with. Us to um, where is the demo creation? Demo creation. Okay, okay. Actually, I'm this my bad. We have to add this two, right? Not here. Also there. Now, two nodes are coming, right? Zero and one. So this value we have to add um, in that section, like only one thing I have to add. Hmm. So instead of this, how can we print this data? Yeah, so const uh, repo list comma set repo list. So repository list I want to add. Okay. Let's try use state. By default, null. And set username is there. I just comment this thing because it's not required currently. Mm, repo list, set repo list. So I'll const, I'll create one viewer is equal to data dot data dot viewer right oh sorry sorry data dot data dot viewer that i have to add and username is there so get username i can add there and this will be their viewer not name. I will go and okay, bio I have missed out, not required currently. So I'll just remove this text. You can remove or you can comment to this one. The comment. Okay, now. Repo list I have to create. So set repo list viewer dot what value I'll take data viewer dot 
repositories, right? Two nodes I have to print out currently. And then dot nodes. Oops. This value. Then repo list. What will do here? I'll do this thing for a minute. Repo list. Repo list is there. Repo list dot and and then then I'll create one UL right. Will class name list group list group hello then repo list this hello I will take um, Polish dot map as the repo from here Eli. Polish dot map. Eli first name list group name. I think you to pass array. I think I have missed something. They polish dot map data. Eli. Eli class name. That is list. Group. Item. You need some key that is your repo or data that is your edge repo. Repo dot id dot two string. ID is not the repo dot id. Well, I will add letter. Key I will add letter. Will I? Just add a class. Repo dot name. Repo dot name. I print it on the stem yes, yes, this is coming. There's the two reports number coming, right? And also key. That should be your repo. ID. Value and check it.
Halo. Yes, you can see that, and also in the A, you can also P. In the P tag, you can also paste repo. That is your description. Okay. Yes. And if we add some description in that repository, then obviously that will also work. But setting and come repository description also with the I not fine currently. So that will work, not an issue. Just this repo description I've added in the time of creation. That so from where I let the setting, right? Any description? Description from where I led. Settings there. Find out currently description menu. repositories this is the okay then any questions on that otherwise can... yeah i have one question uh, suppose yes, yeah. yeah in this end we have uh, let's suppose in this end we have first time and last time but in what? the in a in query can we combine this two into one can you repeat the question once again? I have not understood. Yeah, uh, let's suppose uh, in JSON we are getting first time and last time. Okay, but XML. in JSON, in JSON we have uh, we have first time and last time. But uh, in uh, today, can we concat this two uh, into one day? Concat two values, yeah, yeah. Basically, first time and last time, I want to concat concat. So, one minute. One minute, one minute. So, name is there, right? Right. React developer. Yeah, name plus description. I want to do that. You want to do one minute. So, so I will just uh, here I will add description, right? Right. Description. Uh, here I will add description, name and description. Description is there. Two values, right? Right. Two values. Uh, two values is to. Uh, add one one way yeah into one way right so you can do this thing now so card no, in query can we do that in query okay, okay. Uh -huh. in that query in yeah. that name and description right mm -hmm. I think function also be there obviously i think a node one cat something This function also be there, I think that huh? you have to join to name and description, right? Right. I want to join. Name dot what will it be? Something is concat something. One minute. I have one query of my editor. I will click it. Okay, one minute. What is it? Call that fields is there. Thank you. 
Operation, I think you have to end. What was it? I'm, I, I'm just telling you, just some operations kind of thing we have to add, maybe join or conquer, mm -hmm. something we have to add. Okay. Then we can add this thing. So these two values. Uh, can we do uh, like a uh, name plan description online name, name, name plus uh, yeah can we use uh, that uh, all made and kit yeah name plus description no, no. plus sign Okay. They will not allow you. Also in syntax error. No. Name dot kuch concat. Concat link. What is this thing? Industry equipment. And this is no. So it must if you combine then you have to take other key, right? I mean add yes. something you have to add this thing you have to add. And then in that parameters it will create these things. Okay. This kind of things you have to add. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the third field, whatever is generated, not mm -hmm. one key, one key is required, right? right. On the name side. Otherwise, it cannot understood this value. Mm Search is there, I know, but concat is it's a mutation that is possible that also have to think. Graphical argument we have to pass. Let me check, okay? This thing also be there or not? I have some doubt. Okay. The two things you can concatenate, like description, HTML, I will add. What will come? Plus also not working. No, something you have to check it, these things, how it works. Because the repositories they are providing, repositories things over there. And also after the viewer, there's something concat. Concat is not there. 
तो जॉइन जॉइन repository you can take then only one repository you can get okay okay repositories means two repositories not going no dot join uh, uh, your name can you please tell me amit right yes sir okay i'll i'll get get away get back to you okay uh i want to filter the record based on this some uh, condition like yes is that that also be there that i have to create this thing okay. i know this is there okay query i'll create and then i will send that to you this okay. thing obviously mm -hmm. there filter means uh, if you want search box you there and you can type and then the respective text you will get right right, right. yeah yeah that, yeah that 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 is done I means that is work i i know it but concat i have to check That is, I I will create this thing and get it back to you. Not an issue. Today okay. already one hour is done, na. Yeah. So sure. I'll create and then this file is yes, okay with the search option I'll add. Okay. Okay, go see. Hmm. Then you will just check from your side. Okay. I'll call you later in the individually and I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. Hmm.